B minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, engine full power, and lift off. Go SpaceX, go Lucent, Battle Lima. And at T plus 30 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. In just a few seconds, we'll start throttling down the nine Merlin engines in preparation for Max-Q, the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is a critical moment during flight because the combined stresses caused by Falcon 9 accelerating through the atmosphere and the ambient static pressure are at their greatest. Falcon 9 is supersonic. To help go from vertical to horizontal, the first stage has performed a pitch kick maneuver. This maneuver, known as the gravity turn, gimbals Falcon 9's engine Max just a small amount to slowly turn the first stage so that it's going from straight up to a more horizontal orientation. And as you heard, we have passed through Max Q. Everything looking good on Falcon 9 about a minute and a half into the flight. Coming up shortly, we'll have three events that'll happen in quick succession, and we should and hear chill has started. all of those called out by mission control, starting with main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, and then second engine or stage engine start one. That call out you just heard means we are now thermally conditioning the second stage's MVAC engine in preparation for its ignition. That ignition will happen after stage one shuts down its engines and separates after which the Stage 1 booster will begin to make its way back to Earth, descending under the force of gravity until it's time to relight its engines for the entry burn. At Second Engine Start 1, or SES-1, we will light the MVAC engine on the second stage for the first time. And we should have main engine cutoff on the first stage booster coming up here in just a few seconds. Main engine cut off. And back start up. And there we had those three events in quick succession, main engine cutoff, stage separation, and the ignition of the second stage's MVAC engine. Coming up in just a few moments, we should hear a call out for payload fairing separation. The two payload fairing halves are encapsulating and protecting the new Centara Lima payload right now. But once the stage climbs into the vacuum of space, those payload fairings are no longer needed and they will be jettisoned. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. Confirmation there that both stages are following the planned flight path today. and confirmation of payload fairing jettison, which you just saw there on your screen. Now we will be attempting to retrieve these fairing halves once they fall back to Earth with our recovery vessel, Doug, which is currently stationed downrange in the Atlantic Ocean. Coming up in just under three minutes, we'll have the entry burn of the first stage booster. That should last roughly 20 seconds. At the start of that entry burn, we will relight three of the Merlin engines on the first stage in a maneuver that's similar to pumping the brakes to slow the vehicle down as it passes back into Earth's dense lower atmosphere. The entry burn will help reduce the heat generated from friction with the atmosphere and reduce the aer overall aerodynamic forces acting on Falcon 9's first stage. All of these things help maintain controlled flight and also help pre prepare the vehicle for the landing burn. During that entry burn, Falcon 9 will be decelerating by firing its Merlin engines, but the vehicle is still moving quite fast at this point. This causes it to fly through its own engine's exhaust, 
also known as the rocket's plume. This deposits a layer of soot on the outside of the vehicle, which is why our flight-proven Falcon 9s look the way that they do. That soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses, and with each flight, that soot builds up a little bit more on the outside of the vehicle. Now, just over five minutes into the flight, you can see the telemetry for stage one there on the bottom left of your screen as it descends through 110 kilometers altitude. On the right-hand side of your screen, you can see the telemetry information for stage two as it continues to accelerate onwards towards orbit. Reusability is key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, enabling more investments in critical space infrastructure. The Falcon 9 first stage supporting today's mission is performing or will perform this entry burn for the 23rd time tonight. The payload fairings are also flight proven on today's flight with one half supporting its 16th mission and the other supporting its 11th. Coming up shortly on that entry burn, you can see our dual view here, Falcon 9's first stage on the left-hand side of your screen and Falcon 9's second stage continuing to orbit on the right. Stage one, entry burn startup. And there we can see Falcon 9 performing its three engine entry burn to slow itself down as it enters Earth's atmosphere. This burn should last about 23 seconds and will help prepare the vehicle for the final landing burn down onto the drone ship. Stage one entry burn shut down. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. And confirmation of a good entry burn and that both stages of Falcon 9 continue to follow the pre-planned trajectories today. Now the Merlin engines on Falcon 9's first stage are optimized for sea level, and these achieve about 190,000 pounds of thrust during ascent and descent each. At liftoff, Falcon 9's first stage had a thrust greater than five 747 airplanes at full power. Conversely, the single MVAC engine on the second stage, which has a much wider nozzle, is optimized to operate in the vacuum of space and is capable of producing 220,500 pounds of thrust in vacuum. Coming up in just a few seconds. Stage two is enter terminal guidance. Stage two now performing the final maneuvers to enter the desired orbit today as stage, stage one, transonic. one is now transonic approaching the drone ship. Should be popping in. The first stage booster is headed for the short fall of Gravitas drone ship stationed in the Atlantic Ocean. And stage two is preparing to shut down its engines after achieving the initial parking orbit today. Stage one landing bird. And there Come we shut down. see just at just about the same time Falcon 9's first stage reigniting its center Merlin engine for the landing burn as stage two's MVAC engine cut off after reaching orbit. Stage one landing light deploy. Nominal parking orbit insertion. And Falcon 9 has landed Day on the landing. shortfall of Gravitas drone ship. Just as it was touching down, we also had confirmation that stage two is in the correct orbit. 